what do you want your life to be like? And you hear me say that often. What do you want your life to be like? And I'm going to keep saying it because it's interesting. The more I ask, the more I realize I, there's very few people that know exactly what they want their life to be like. And the bottom line is if you don't know what you desire and you don't know what, you're, what you really, really want your life to be like, all the goals you set, all the targets, all the milestones, all the business goals, the life goals, the relationship goals, the workout goals, don't really matter if you don't know where you're going, uh, where you want to end up. And the bottom line is I'm asking this question today because I want you to really think about the fact and do you realize that you can have whatever you want, whatever you desire. But there's a, there's a significant and a subtle difference between setting goals and creating a vision for yourself. See, goals are going to be based on your situation, your job, your relationships, what you, what you see, and usually, more importantly, what you believe you can have. Your vision is something different. Your vision is what you think you want your life to be like. What do you desire? And most often times, the most success comes from people that have the biggest vision, right? And this vision a lot of times operates and it is very distinct and important that you understand that your vision should operate outside your belief level. Your vision should, you know, reside outside your comfort level. You know, it reminds me and you hear all the time about the book um, and my favorite quote by Napoleon Hill, which is what the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. And that is a huge, huge piece. Do you realize the power that your mind has. I mean, let's stop for a second and think about that. Think and Grow Rich is a book that has now sold over 100 million copies. And 80 years later, this is a quote that's coming up. This is something that thousands of entrepreneurs, probably millions of entrepreneurs, have, um, have endorsed, have talked about. And that is what, what the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. But you have to put significant time into that. You know, it reminds me of a story I heard, and uh, I can't remember if it's in Think and Grow Rich or outside that, but, you know, when Napoleon Hill first uh, approached Andrew Carnegie, you know, his belief level was not there. He was not a successful, wealthy individual. Napoleon Hill um, was an individual that was still, you know, it's hard to get outside his comfort zone. And, and Carnegie told him something. It was kind of interesting because the quote that I have, um, see if I can remember it, it's, uh, you know, all success begins with definiteness of purpose, with a clear picture in your mind of precisely what you want from life. So you have to get clear on what you want from life. If you don't get clear, crystal clear on what you want from life, and here's the thing, you've got to get outside your box. Every time I ask this question this week, people would say, well, you know, I want to have more money, I want to have freedom, I want to have lifestyle. I'm sorry to say that is not specific enough. You need to get really clear, and this is why, because your belief level will, will grow the more you believe something happens, and you believe something happens the more you see it, the more specific, the more crystal clear it gets, the more precise it is, and the more precise you get about what you desire and what you want in life, the more you're going to believe it, the more you're going to achieve it but you've got to get clear on that. I don't care how many goals you've set this year. If you haven't gotten clear on what your vision is, then you've got to be able to do more of that. So I have a few suggestions for you. I wrote down, wrote down a couple suggestions that might just kind of spur your thinking and get you started for the year because I hope you have great goals and great milestones and great things you want to accomplish. But my goal of this message is to get you clear on your vision of where you want your life to be. So first of all, most importantly, don't forget, block out time. Block time for yourself to work on your vision, to work on where you want your life to be, not just time for your goals and for your activities and your priorities. Block out time. And second, have an open mind. Have a really, really open mind because you got to remember, you are only limited by you. You are only limited. Your vision is only limited by your own mind. So you've got to really try to open up your mind and dream big. I want you to dream really big this year. If it's ever going to happen, it's a brand new decade. It's your 2020 vision. It's all of this success that's happening around the world right now. So dream big. Don't be afraid to list out, talk about, and grow your dream past what you think you could ever achieve. 10x everything that you're talking about. Because if you don't do that, you know, it's like the quote that uh, Jim Carrey says. It's kind of a variation of it that I like to use, which is, you can fail at what you don't want. You can fail at your goals, so you may as well take a chance on something you love. Take a chance on the life you want to live, not the life you think you can live. Dream big. Open up your mind. Block out some time. Also, remember, this is important. Say yes, then figure it out.
This isn't about setting goals based on where you're at or what you think you can do. Or, you know, I, I talk to people all the time. They, they want to set business goals of hitting a chairman rank or achieving this in their relationship or whatever. So they say, what do I think I can do? You're missing the point. When you set goals and when you create a vision, this is about your vision. This is not about what you think you can do. And this isn't about where you think you can get. Really dream big and say yes and figure it out later. The goals will come after you set your vision. The other thing I want you to do is you got to keep this in mind. There's a couple things that are going to be important. You've got to be able to say no to naysayers. Don't, don't discuss your vision with other people and say, hey, what do you think we can do? How do you think I can do this? You're defeating the whole purpose. You're already operating from, an, uh, from a scarcity mindset. You can, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. You've just got to think big, dream big. The other thing is I want you to put time in your schedule, in your daily rituals, to visualize and manifest this life on a daily basis. Because remember, like I said, the more you think about it, the more you envision it, the more you see it, the more you're going to achieve it. Because your belief will raise. The more crystal clear something is, the less ambiguous it is, the more you're going to have the ability to create that life. And that is the key. Like I said a minute ago, you know, you can, you can lose you can lose at doing something you don't want to do. So you may as well take a chance on doing something you love. You may as well take a chance on being the ultimate vision of where you want your life to be. Then work backwards into your goals. Then work backwards into these milestones and priorities and daily rituals that you have. But what is it that you desire? What is it that you want your life to be like? You can have, I promise you, you can have anything that you set your mind out to. You can achieve anything and it starts with the power of a thought and that thought is gonna be your vision. That's my message for today. I hope that's something that'll kind of spur the thoughts in you, put those thoughts and suggestions into your schedule, and I look forward to seeing you and hearing about your success.